what's going on everybody this is fry so on the long list of cards that i have never used before was this super rare right over here tactical cuke as in cucumber that's how it's pronounced don't mispronounce pronounce it however you want shut up um here comes the grammar nazis listen tactical cuke this destroys all plants and zombies on the ground it's so expensive it does do a lot it would be good as a removal card so i thought hey why not put it in otk chomzilla otk chomzilla uh really is a control deck you're trying to remove everything they have off the field uh you got your bonk choice just again this is just removal cards this is the one that deals with the water lane is the sweet pea nice addition to this deck and really just a bunch of removal cards i know some of you are looking at briar rose saying hey Rye Rose in the stack, there's not enough flowers. The only time there's flowers is if your if your solar winds makes flowers. It doesn't matter. Briar Rose is a good removal card. Just compare this card to Lawnmower. Lawnmower, when they put a zombie on the field, you play Lawnmower and you kill it. So instead, Briar Rose, this works on heights. Uh, it also is a minion, so and it also uh, will be able to work uh, in conjunction with your little sunflower. So you don't really need a lot of flowers to make Briar Rose work. Uh, the but. The win condition of the deck is this card right over here. This is really the only deck that magnifying grass is good in, probably. Uh, this gets an extra attack for every sun you made this turn. So on turn 9, this will actually be a 9-1. You really want to try to play this on turn 9, let's say, together with a plant food. And that'll do 10 damage. And if your opponent can't really deal with it, it'll do another 10 damage. And then it's OTK, which means one turn kill. You can basically finish off most of their health in one turn that way. Uh, the other way is if you wait till turn 12, you can play it with Espresso Fiesta! Da, 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 da. And then it does like 13, 12 damage times 3, which is a ton of damage, basically. So that's uh, a combo we're trying to pull off. Just in case we don't get the magnifying grasses, we are running uh, two copies of Cornucopia. Uh, we are, you know, ramping up with the solar winds that is our environment, so hopefully we'll be able to get that extra sun uh, sooner than later. This is a really fun deck to play. It's not the greatest deck because Chomsilla, it's really hard to really control your opponent with Chomsilla, but I think this is pretty decent. We're definitely going to be testing out the tactical cube, destroying massively everything they play. No one's going to play around this card since no one, no, no one, who even runs tactical cube? Nobody. So it makes it actually better since people aren't going to play around it. Got some squashes for removal, hammer, just to deal with those pesky, you know, sports imps. Anyway, guys, here it is, OTK Cuke deck. I'm really excited to use Tactical Cuke for the first time, and I really would like to surprise a lot of our opponents with Tactical Cuke. That'll be definitely, that definitely will be fun. And um, maybe we'll have some good cornucopia moments, too. You never know. You never know with this deck. You never know in this stream what's going to happen. Uh, I think this is going to be good. Let's go. Again, this deck performs okay. It's like 80% win rate, so I'm guessing, let's say, 8 and 2, that would be my prediction. But, you know, I really haven't tried this deck since Sweet Pea, uh, which definitely is 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 very good with Chomzilla. It makes Chomzilla way better. Briar Rose, Tactical Cube. I've never actually used those control cards. So who knows? Maybe this will just be the best control card in the world, control deck in the world. And, and you know, let's see what happens. And we're up against pesky Neptuna. Fastadas. And we got the music. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, I think we do hold on to... Uh, since we do have some decent uh, control plays, including, you know, just... You know, environment on two, Bryros on three. I'm gonna actually hold on to the magnifying grass. Dang. Damn! <laughs> now what do I do now? Uh... I wonder if I scorch that. Okay, what are we gonna do next turn? I, I was thinking maybe if he played Toxic Waste Imp. I haven't seen Headstone Cover in so long, so hard to deal with. We do have Bonk Choice in this deck that deal with it fine. I would so Bonk Choice this if I had it. This was supposed to take out Toxic Waste Imp. I could scorch and then play this next turn. Maybe I'll just Environment and set up Briar Rose. We're gonna fall so behind if we do that though. Uh, this is really weird, but I think I'm actually going to do this. We could really... I really don't want him getting another... Mm, another Graves... Gravestone. Anyway. Let's see what happens. Imp throwing Imp. That's nice. So it is an Imp deck. You impotent fool! Is the Headstone Carver a bluff or what? I don't even know what's, I don't even know what's going on. So it's probably just going to be Imp Commander next turn. That's weird. 
All right, what is this? Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. Dancing, you've been losing with. Again, every deck has a certain meta that it's good with. I don't, I'm not that worried. We have two magnifying grasses in our hand. Magnifying grasses also, I think, are extra good against Neptuno, who doesn't have a good way of dealing one damage, so sometimes you can just stick it on the field and they just have nothing to do. Piece of trash garbage! That was my environment! Piece of trash garbage. Yes, ooh, we have the combo already. That's mine! <laughs> my environment! Ramping up with two, even double, usually you don't want to go in most decks with double something, <laughs> just going viral. It's so on the one card. Ah, uh, it's so slow. No, we're not going to attack that imp ever, okay? Oh, yay! Bounce my 2 3. That's a good play. That's a good thing to play. Ah. Uh, flowers! I think we're going to go with the double flower strategy. Oh, it's cuke! We can cuke already if we want. Or we can just puke. Whichever one you want. And I gotta turn up that little thing one second. Coming right back. I'm back! I'm back! Oh, pesky warlord, huh? This is pretty good. Maybe we'll cuke next turn. Cuke him and puke him. Oh, this is fine. Oh, Warlord. Haha, that's why we're running cuke. Okay, go on the ground. Gotta pull the cuke next turn. Haha, <laughs> mini ninja. That's <laughs> a five attack mini ninja. Ouch! Ouch! We have a little healing. It's just geyser for healing. Ah, uh, we'll see. Warlord dies, yeah, basically for free. And we get more flowers! <laughs> it's probably gonna be cute here. <laughs> That's my guess, theoretically. Uh, what is this garbage? I wish we could protect the thing. I think Briar Rose is gonna die here. Ha ha ha! Cute number one! <laughs> Die. It's probably just a pogo. <laughs> Don't mess with tactical cute. Oh, Briar Rose lives. Ain't that nice? Ah, he thought he would move my. The fact I moved my sunflower out so much because now Briar Rose lives. Yay! Block. Uh, this is a great heal. We're not gonna get a better heal than that, definitely. And we're we're approaching the OTK play. The OTK play. We can also use the sunflowers to protect our little. Guys, our, our magnifying glasses. In fact, we have magnifying plant food already. Ooh, should we go for it? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what our opponent does here. Maybe we'll cuke instead. Maybe we'll just puke. How about that? Sounds like a plant. Uh, let's do it. This could be lethal. This is very likely going to be lethal, because again, Gravestone, he needs exactly super on the block. This will definitely hit. This will definitely hit. Listen, he's going to hit for 9. The Prior Rose is going to probably rock the block, so he needs to get super on the block. If he gets Gravestone or Frenzy, it does not help. What was the last power there? Did our opponent get a power yet? No, it's probably lethal here. Proc? No, it didn't proc the block, moron. Come on, man. Down to 3. Ah, rolling that one, that would have been lethal there. Got Gravestone. Piece of trash garbage. Ah, cool, man. There's just... Oh, more plant food. <laughs> we can plant food the Briar Rose now, actually. So our opponent's going to have to put two minions. No, that is lethal, folks. Haha, <laughs> let's BM. Uh, let's tactical cuke for BM. Anyway. Die. Don't mess with my tenant attack guy or whatever go <laughs> you're dead <laughs> see 
Briar Rose is so good. <laughs> who who now, which of the Briar Rose doubters thinks that Briar Rose is only good in flower decks? No, Briar Rose is intrinsically good. How many minions did Briar Rose kill there? Killed two minions and got the and got the finishing damage, so I'll definitely take it. And prevented lethal us from getting lethal last turn, but shut up. Shut up, guys. <laughs> Oh, I love having lots of energy. It's fun. Who's excited for the free pack? Oh, today's free pack day. Maybe we'll get our fourth winter. No, it makes it actually less fun when you have all the cards. Part of the fun of the game is like, oh, I'm going to get a new pack. I'm going to get new cards. I'm saving up for gems and buying. I kind of don't have that. I do have that in Hearthstone. Someone actually did. Marrow Barrow actually. Um, we're connected on Facebook. If you guys want to connect on Facebook, look me up there. Fry him up. Uh, Mero Barrow actually offered that I could use his account, so if you see me using some weird Hearthstone account with all the cards, uh, it's probably his, which I wouldn't mind getting into ranked, I'm probably, I mean, we're doing great in Arena, we've been doing six, six or more wins every day in Arena, basically, so, except for that one Priest deck that sucks so badly. Anyway, uh, we're keeping Magnifying Rest, not Cornucopia, this is okay, this is nice control. Uh, I don't think actually the Sweet Pea is really that important, there are a couple things like Snorkel, but it's not very common. I think getting a different card like Briar Rose is much better here. Who cares he's level 28? 28 guys can, can win, okay? I, got, I think I lost the other day to someone who was 26. It's not all about the rank here, guys. There's a sports deck, so we want to really use this hammer. Use the hammer! Get the hammer. Get down! I uh, use the hammer on three on the... Uh, Team mascot helps a lot. So probably end up playing our applesauce here. They want the sweet pea also does work against the um, against the arm wrestler. What the heck is that? <laughs> T9, look at this play! Oh, you don't got a friend no more. You don't got a friend in me. Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Doesn't grow. See this this card over here, the genetic experiment, only grows uh, start of trick phase if there's a zombie next door. Deny. That's called some two for one value right there. That is how it's done. No, he had nibble. Who even runs nibble? I'm not joking. Everyone runs nibble. What am I even saying? Now, if he plays a team mascot like in the middle, let's say, we'll just hammer it. Dang. Uh, I think we'll hammer this one now. Piece of garbage trash. It's probably just a sumo. Nice try, <laughs> landscaper. So sad. Uh, what is this? You just drafted an arena deck in Hearthstone. Hope you win a lot, Pally. Ain't gonna be easy. Using the one of these apps like Overwolf is actually, I, I feel like does help a lot. It puts things in perspective. I don't. Uh, this last draft, I got nine wins, and I did not. Then you know, I'm editing this video right now, and I I disagreed a lot with it, and I wish there was even one one thing I would have disagreed even more. Oh, that's tough. I really don't have a good way. I guess squash is the way to deal with it. Uh, set up Briar Rose right now. Briar Rose right now. Set up Briar Rose right now. I think we can actually do this um, in this lane. Man, how are we going to deal with this freaking thing? We're going to do this to take out. The arm wrestler is probably better than the landscaper. And we can always just heal next turn. I think we're going to go with that. We have the espresso combo. We just have to stay alive. I, I really need a squash. This is why running squashes in this deck. Squash is the only thing I can deal with that freaking guy in the water. I guess sweet pea maybe. We used our sweet pea already. Um, super might work at some point, so let's not use super here. If we can get rid of that 2-2, two, two, we can actually super the one in the water. Let's see, I'm making 5. So getting rid of that landscaper, I guess, is pretty high priority. We can actually hammer and applesauce this turn, and then maybe get the chomp. Ooh, I'd like to heal my Briar Rose, though. Well, we'll see. This is lowest health, right? There's that. A synchronized swimmer becomes a 4 3. Harsh. Alright, so it's gonna be heal. And piece of garbage. Okay. It's 
it's gonna be heal. The question is, do we want to put the applesauce in two or in in one or in two? It's kind of interesting, but then we'll be able to ch to hammer chomp next turn. So let's just kill the one that does more damage here. And yeah, applesauce, parasol zombie. Okay, we're we're doing okay. Uh, been nice to block this four damage. We're re really getting very low in health here. Uh, you know, if he puts one more thread on the board, it's gonna be hard to survive here. Just cute. Ooh, he fronted our Briar Rose. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so afraid of this Briar Rose. He just fronted it. That was like the best case scenario, seriously. I hope he just plays on the ground next time. I really want to cuke this guy to the Ice Age. Even hit killing one big guy with cuke isn't bad. Why no tacos in this deck? We could have tacos. Some more healing. You're right. What would I take out, though? I feel like I'd have to take out a controlling card to put in Taco, which, you know, most of the cards in this deck, like Hammer, will end up preventing 4 damage instead of just healing after the fact. It is kind of good to have Taco to have a little bit of card cycle, too. I wouldn't mind putting Taco in this deck. I just don't know what I would take out. Oh, look, he's healing! Uh, we can set up Espresso Fiesta for next turn now. We're probably... Not gonna lose you. What if? What if this is a? Uh, then what? If it's a sumo, it's not under the world. Let's just do this here. Maybe I'll do this here and just so we can cuke if we need to. Let's see here. I guess with the sumo it doesn't matter. Landscape probably a little landscape. That's my guess. It's just if we win first, Espresso Fiesta, if he Gravestone and put something in one, that'll win. Uh, I think this is a better chance, because this way, worst case scenario, we could always cuke next turn. I want to Espresso next turn. There you go. The buff self. We're, we're very much alive. Very much alive. So he's going to need to front this with a Gravestone next turn. We're going to hit him for seven here. There you go. Cards, sure. Plant food, nice. Let's see what happens. We want it to not be a gravestone. I guess we'll we'll actually have a play now because we have two and four. There's actually a way we can get out of this. Let's see what he does. There's coffee zombie. So espresso fiesta does uh, does kills that and does 14 damage. That's lethal, man. <laughs> Got him. This was the slow. Usually, want like turn 12. Magnifying Grass Espresso Fiesta. That really, really worked. 2-0. That's, you know, we did 7 last turn and then 14 this turn. That equals 21. 21. What is 7 plus 14? 21. That's the actual answer, you guys. Memes aside. Got him. Do you think Cuke will end up, like, force field? That what ends up being horrible. <laughs> I tried. I tried force field. I like the cuke there. The cuke was the cuke. The cuke was cute. Cukey. <laughs> Could have cuked there too. Two turn kill. Well, again, we did still did 14 damage in one turn, and it's always one turn kill. The idea one turn kill means now you're doing 20, but you're doing more than 10. I'd say most of their health in one shot. Two turn kill. Try unfriending me and refriending me, Arthur, but I don't... I, I can't I can't just friend everyone. You have to understand from my perspective here. I can't just friend people. Um, we'll keep a squash here. we we'll look for a little bit more early game removal in case this is... If this is slow... You know what? If this is slow boogaloo, we're gonna win. There's espresso. So let's assume it's fast boogaloo and try to get as much early game control as possible. There's that. Oof, harsh. Again, it's a 2-1. Let's see if he tries to buff that now. We do have the sweet pay. There you go. I'm pronouncing cuke wrong. Why? You think it's kook? I think it's cuke. Tactical cuke. 
<laughs> Grandma, there was a discussion once upon a time about that in the stream. Um, do we go environment? Man, the tempo is real. I think I'm gonna go environment right now. Environment right now. Let's do it. We might be able to scorch the 2-1 the if we can drag it in or something. I'll see what happens. Let's see what we get here. I'll have four. Another sweet pea even would be pretty good here. Just another two drop. There's one. There you go. So I think we're gonna drag in the um Could scorch here, we don't have to though. I'm gonna drag you in. I'm gonna put this here. Now scorch again, it preserves two health on my on my thing. <sighs> what if he has something that says deal one damage, like a Kanga? What if he has oh don't I'm gonna play around um You know what I think that is? I think it's a loudmouth. And yeah. It, since it's probably Loudmouth in this very tempo-y deck that he's playing, he made a turn one and turn two fly, so I'm guessing Tempo Boogaloo, I'm guessing Loudmouth. Yes! The prediction is real! That's called Archetype! Archetype prediction! And uh, now he can't, he doesn't have either one of those to buff, so he's gonna buff self, he'll proc his block, and we have great stuff happening in all the ground lanes now. I'll take it. What is this? Sorry. It's Kook? Is it pronounced Kook? Fine. I used to say Kook and everyone pronoun everyone told me that it's cuke so then i actually looked it up and and google actually pronounced it cuke i'll actually play that for you guys if you want um cuke it's not a it's not a kook like a um like a like a bomb it's actually spelt the other way anyway i think kook is c-o-o -O. Uh, anyway cuke pronunciation I'll, I'll just show you how google how google pronounces it um, how to pronounce Cuke. It's short for Cucumber. I'll just play this for you. It's on YouTube. I'll play it for you guys. Hellman's right. Organic Mayonnaise. Anyway. Uh, now what do we do? Go. More ramp. I don't know what he's doing. Chickening here? Cuke. Cuke. I also was saying cuke, cuke, and everyone was yelling at me. Cuke. It's actually cuke. 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 Yeah. A kook is is like a bomb, but they're they're making that pun. So I'm pretty sure the pun goes by the vegetable. We're gonna be up to. We're gonna have so much sun. <laughs> Every single look at this. How much are we making this turn? We're making eight already. Uh, it's Briar Rose, which is amazing here. Briar Rose and Briar Rose. There's that. Uh huh. Wow. This is called the commitment here. I could go, since our opponent committed, I could actually go Magnifying Grass, Magnifying Grass. I can actually go Briar Rose, Magnifying Grass. Oh, I guess that's the play, huh? Pretty good. Eight damage. There you go. I have to spend the second little save on. And we'll just do this here. Get out the way! <laughs> he just overcommits. This is a problem with any zombie deck that just plays a zombie every turn. You can react to it and, and just take advantage of whatever they did so well. Uh, so Espresso Fiesta wins here, basically. We're still making eight. We, there's so many things we could do, but again, he's gonna if he holds out for a trick, Espresso is just gonna win. I guess if the trick ends up being either the lightning bolt's powers, it's not gonna work. But huh. okay, well we did eight damage there. It's worth it. There we go. <laughs> Look at these sunflowers. They're so good. Oh, he doubled gravestones. Ah. Let's try to proc the block with this. That's actually the play, and we'll try to set up the this one later. We we can't espresso here. It's not good enough. Okay. Oh, did someone donate bits? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to do the cuke thing. We donated bits. 
Let's restart this. It's a bomb! Double gravestone. We're making so much sun here. Eight nights. Just a matter of time to we'll get real as Fresno Fiesta. Please not link. Uh, that was actually the worst case scenario. No. We're making so little sun now. <laughs> it's still so much. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh? <laughs> we need two more sun to pull off the wombo combo. Where's Cornucopia when we need it? We don't have a play here. We can't play one of these. I don't think, unless he doesn't have... You know what? He doesn't necessarily have removal. We'll have the combo anyway for next turn, actually. Actually, this this makes us have the combo for next turn, because we'll get one more... Uh, wait, no, we're going to still get... Uh, we're still going to be off. Anyway, let's see. He doesn't necessarily have removal, so... We'll see what happens. There was that. Outdated Cafe, thank you so much! What do you say? You have a link to three of... Oh, he didn't kill it? Oh, Espresso's gonna be so good here. He doesn't have any removal. That's nice. Black hole. Uh, yeah, go ahead, post it, man. Post it, post it. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to the bits. I'm spaced out. Uh, <laughs> this is a 30 damage Espresso Fiesta. He just needs a gravestone in four. da 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 -da 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 -da. See you later. I could almost express if he has to one of these sunflowers and win. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, he's in a great position here. He's in a great position, but unfortunately for him, we have the secret weapon. Espresso Fiesta! Fiesta! And we're 3 0. See you later. They should definitely play that music when you play, uh, <laughs> you play the Fiesta. Yeah, Triceratops is gonna be a good tempo card. I sent actually a letter to the guy at EA asking them if they have any objections to me doing it. You're the kook, Fry. <laughs> My father and brother are watching. That's fun. Dude, what a misplay! Which misplay? Top deck chicken. I love angry prail. Um, <laughs> daily in one minute. We're gonna get a pack. Just espresso the sunflower. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it someday. We'll espresso a fiesta sunflower. Man, the the ramp here too. This is really the best ramp card. The best, especially now that Nebula costs three. The best ramp card in the game clearly is is uh, Solar Winds. I love this card. It's an environment that ramps. There's no Sunflower. All the other ramp cards are just too weak. An environment is, is an environment. It's covered by a different environment. So you have to run them in every deck anyway. So it really works here. <clears throat> he should have played the Swimmer first in order to deal more damage. Oh, he played... Flamenco. Oh, the swimmer's, uh... Oh, I see. Wait, did he miss... He didn't miss Lethal there, though, right? Oh, the, the, the synchronized swimmer is a dancer. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that was a dancing... Anyway. Um, two threes are... He has no amphibious minions, and two threes in general are really bad against Rust Bolts. So, um... Do we keep the squash? I think looking for a hammer or something like that would be better. Got a deck. And three twos are amazing, not only as a control card, but it's good against Rust Bolt. And we start off with Chomp Power, so... Um, we will use this. Sad kind of just using it on a, on a little 2-1, but that's a 2-1 that grows. It should be fine. Genetic Experiment. It's so fragile. I haven't really used Genetic Experiment a lot. It's a nice card. I should, uh... Sorry, I'm not ignoring anyone. There's so much stuff happening right now. I can't. I can't. Should I go for three two just to control him versus um? Nah, let's play like a control deck. You pass if they pass. Why is Wall Knight a thing? Because flowers and healing are like some of the best things, and he has really good flowers and really good healing. What is this going to be now? Going viral? Piece of garbage trash. 
I'm just gonna throw this out here to let's try it. Oh, drone engineer. Okay. Would have been better to hit the drone engineer technically. I'm doing fine. We're doing okay here, so oh, I'm really happy to see this is a science deck. <laughs> Why is he running Brain Vendor though? He's like, that's a free card. It's not the way it goes, Rose. Uh, I'm probably gonna spend one of my uh, one of my magnifying grasses just as a control card here because we're we're falling way too far behind. Oh, gladiator! Random stuff. I think I'm gonna go here and just kill that for free. One damage. Die piece of garbage kill the gladiator and it'll still be a thing so it, it controls him in the sense that it's a high hitter that is on the board that he'll have to deal with next turn it'll end up taking out a second card so man he's not he's just rolling ones <laughs> he's hit me like eight times so far i have not blocked he hit me five times i have not blocked yet no all right it's squash time we gotta hold on to one magnifying grass obviously Hitting for four here, it's not bad. So, squash. Not a bad squash. Rose has the most flowers. I feel like popping poppies, though, is so good with Briar Rose that it makes it worth it. Do I do this right now or do I do this next turn? I think we're gonna really need every, every little bit of sun that we can and every point of health, so that saves us one health from the spot. Pretty sure. There's Briar Rose. Nice. So probably gonna be Briar Rose Bonk Choi. Man, that's six damage. We can't really take that. So now it's gonna be plant food. <laughs> this thing's doing plenty of damage here too. Bonk Choi. There you go. Again, playing zombies every turn, such a disadvantage. Sports decks are okay because they have very, very good stats and they're hard to deal with. Uh, but, I don't know what this guy's doing. We are not doing great. You know, we actually almost won here. We're close. We're close to winning. I think it's just Bry Rose, and we'll try to set up the, um, the, the magnifying grass combo next turn. You're good to go. Let's see what comes out of this. That'll make a huge difference. Ah! I'm healing. Okay. Taking it slow. But I mean, this is still actually 18 damage next turn, the uh, magnifying grass combo at turn 8. Let's see what he gets. That's fine. Bullseye. <laughs> the 4 2 bullseye. We'll see what happens here. Second magnifying. Which means we can we can use a magnifying grass as a control card here. We can afford that. No, seriously, wow, that is huge. He's killing our our bonus attacks. Come on, man. We would actually go for lethal here if it weren't for that bonus track bucket head. Now what do I do? Ooh, that's tough. Do I let one of these hit me? I think we have to kill the bonus track that we have to so this always happens I don't know I, I need I need these to win here I could hit him for eight and then try to hit him for nine next turn I think this is our chance I mean he could kill what if he kills this mag with this magnifying grass though then what if he has a beam me up or something he's gonna win regardless so Let's just do it like this, see what happens. Nebula, that is good news. And protect, no! No, we basically have no chance of winning now. Come on, man, bonus track Buckethead, getting it done. There's just some hero, some decks. This one relies 100% on bonus attacks to win. I mean, we, we have three dead cards in our hand because of that. He just used ah, escape through time. We don't. We're, there's actually. I think it's impossible for us to win now. Ah, cuke. It's not gonna help though because we need. Wait, cuke bonus attack number one off. If we had one more, if we had one more sun, we would have leaf. No, we wouldn't because we would kill our magnifying grass too. Come on, man. It's over. 
<laughs> Harsh. Die, you piece of trash garbage. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> your B Bad Moon Rising is denied. It's not really denied. Use it. Use Bad Moon Rising for BM. And then we'll, we'll get, just get a pool shark. Or what's it called? Mix of great. <laughs> wow. Sadness. Maybe I... Uh, yeah, anyway. That is the problem. Piece of garbage. Um, mm, 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 mm. Looks pretty good. A couple of briar roses. Briar rose, briar rose. Can't rose you up anymore. And he does that stupid play. Think we're gonna kill it anyway. Ba -da -da -dum. Ba -da -da -dum. <sighs> stupid arm wrestler. You're just a scurvy cur. Arm wrestler. You can go jump in a lake. Sumo. <laughs> How did I know? How dirt I know. So we have the great answer to um the great answer to Team Mascot next turn. Briar Rose. Again, two and three, yeah. Three is okay. Just shoot for three when you're starting off. You know? It's as you get more experience, you start getting up to six and stuff like that, but three three is good. Three is value. What are you doing, man? Seriously? <laughs> Why would you play that there? He figures if I have uh, anyway. Uh, if he plays his what's it called next turn, his um his coach next turn, I I think I'll just chomp it. <laughs> Briar Rose value. Die. <laughs> Who said Briar Rose isn't good in this deck? King of the Grill. <laughs> Keep on going. Oh look, it's Coach! How did I know? Piece of... Because this guy's a piece of trash garbage, that's why. So I'm actually gonna keep the keep the flowers. Double, fl double flower is actually good because you just need as much sun as possible in this deck, so... Uh, it's also nice to cover as many lanes as possible since you yeah, don't have a lot of flowers. I don't think protecting Briar Rose is really priority. Briar Rose itself is a control card. You can go with this draw. Almost up to Espresso. Because we're almost up to Espresso, anyway, we got just Squash and Applesauce this turn. What? Why would you put that there, though? Should I squash something here? Let's strike through. Wait, what, what could he have? Why would you put it, the team mask guy? He just has nothing else to do. He's just preventing the, the, the damn oh, oh, waste. Wait. What could he have that would protect the team mask guy here? Escape through time. No. Super. What if he has super? Huh. It's possible. Did, did he didn't use a power yet, right? He must have super in hand. Or else he would have put that dry. Now if he supers that, he's just preserving his 2 2. Galva. Galvanize what? Why are you doing that? He doesn't know how Briar Rose works. Just it. He doesn't. Just read the card. Okay, this guy should just concede right now from the game permanently. What the heck was that? Now he got super. Ooh. Okay. Whatever. 
It's, some people play this game very casually, and it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> it's just stupid. Uh, Espresso's pretty good here. It does 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. <laughs> Espresso Fiesta! Da, 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 da. Oh, that's close to lethal. <laughs> Getting close, guys. <laughs> I've never had that situation where you... Wait, why are you rolling stone? It does nothing! It's just a waste! <laughs> Read the coming dust! <laughs> I have never seen this many dumb plays in one game in a row! Why? What are you doing? He was gonna galvanize a mascot also went to help, because then it would put Briar Rose down to one health. It wouldn't just... I, I'm just... Read the cards! <laughs> Yay! Get squashed! Boop, 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 boop. Get squashed! Okay, we definitely have to um, cornucopia next turn, so I'm just gonna hold hold off on the bonk choy. What? What? It's just try not to cringe challenge, which I failed. Okay, I'm cooking myself. I don't care. Time to BM this guy to the ice age. <laughs> Should we BM him or should we? I had enough of this piece of trash garbage. Here, we'll put it here just to give him a chance. The misplay. Misplay on purpose. Cornucopia in the ground. Let's see what we get. If we get garbage and then he blocks, then we get more garbage. Uh, no, we got a 5 attack guy. Oh no, you're gonna kill my my nut! <laughs> Speaking of nuts. Whew! Alright, guys. We have a new try not to cringe challenge. Just watch that game. Oh! Oh. Anyway, how did that guy get to rank 33? I guess you don't actually have to be that good to get to, to diamonds in this game. Because there's always going to be someone who's, yeah. Maybe that was a bot. Then you know what? That was probably just a bot. A very, it was a bot in beta. It was an alpha. <laughs> it was this bot that was just made. Just kind of threw it out there for a test run. That must be it. Espresso of the Sunflower. <laughs> this better be on YouTube. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'll, I'll, write, I'll write that down as a highlight. How about that? Highlight. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that whole game as a highlight. Try not to cringe challenge. Uh, 09. Oh, oh, wow, I haven't had highlights in a long time. Um, OTK. Chum. Yay, concede! I'm not gonna count that as a win. That was game five. Try not to cringe misplays. Misplays. And a guy goes into ranks and concedes. That's nice. It's beautiful. It's just fantastic. Uh, are you doing a Go Nuts deck? Maybe I will tomorrow. I don't have any great ideas. It seems like a horrible card. It's too expensive for a... I don't know. To team up. I don't really know how to use it. Nightcap? Is there a way of making an OTK Go Nuts deck? With Pear Paradise. <laughs> Let's use it together with Walnut Bowling. That'll be fun. Anyway, uh, we'll keep one of these. This is fine. I'm going to keep the Kook too. Uh, drawing. It's really nice actually having Holofloor as a power in this deck because it really isn't enough card draw. Die. Punk Joy. So good. Bonk Choy is a great control card. Some people use Bonk Choy as a tempo card. I don't like it. Or aggro. It's it's most it's a one cost like three damage basically. Being a plant. Cards. Could almost use really use more card draw in this deck. I don't count it when the guy just concedes without playing. So, four and one. I, I counted the one where that we lost that guy lost terribly, right? 
This is pretty good. We want this on the ground. I think we want to start developing as many things on the ground as possible. Uh, just get the battle on the ground, if you know what I'm saying. Just so the kook will be more effective. The 2 1 is easy, is a card that's easy to take advantage of. With this espresso setup. Just that. Ouch. Ooh, it's probably a sumo. Probably. A sumo. We don't have the kook next turn. I'm actually just gonna do this. It's weird. And just pass. It's probably a sumo in there. There's really no point in playing another bunk chart right now. Yeah, he goes with the damage. So again, the kook is. We might take another four of this kook. It depends what he does here, really. We don't really have a good way of dealing with that. I would really like to hold on to the um, Bang Fungress. It's protected anyway, so. Just kook next turn. I think we'll do this preemptively. We could go magnifying already. Mm, yeah. So we'll take the six damage like a man. And we'll kook. What level is this guy? You can see in the top 30, doesn't it say? Not cut off. Not cut off. We have all the late game we need. Decent removal. In fact, if he de if he de's, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> growth. <laughs> no one plays around Kook ever. <laughs> oh, I just love the animation. A bomb. It's offensive, you guys. It's offensive to Japanese people. I don't know. Is this the same guy? Oh, maybe. No, the last guy was twenty-seven. Uh, if we can, if he overcommits here, we're gonna go for the magnifying grass, I guess. Goat. Whew. Should I do it? Wait, no, it's five five now. <laughs> uh, what is that? It's a fire alarm going off. I wonder if I should spend this here. Five and five is gonna win. Um, well, if he sticks a gravestone in front of this next turn, we basically lose. Yeah, we kind of have to do this. We have the cornucopia. It'd be nice to have to set this up. We could hopefully we have three more magnifying grasses in our deck. So it freaks out baby fry so much though. You can probably hear him. The, or the two year old one. He does not like. He gets scared by stuff like that. Even people like knock on the door and stuff, it gets him scared. What's that? A hammer? So it's stealing my car. Toddler fry. Ooh, actually, Solar Wind sets up uh, Cornucopia next turn. That should be cool. That's pretty good. And uh, it doesn't really matter the lane. I guess it's actually better to have these on. Uh, in the left lane, so they actually trigger before the Briar Rose dies. Hmm, never thought about that in this deck. Usually you want your Solar Winds, you know, you want your Briar Rose behind the Sunflower and the Solar Winds, but now that we have no flowers, it's better that all the Sunflowers are to the left of the Briar Rose that's in a different lane. Okay. Cornucopia time! Here we go. I should do a 16 environment deck, there's that again. It's not coming from our apartment. I'm sure. Uh, go. Uh, again, this could go horribly wrong, and then he could roll double ones. It's unlikely. This is pretty good. Get into this game. Well, so, you know, we have Espresso next turn. Ha ha ha! Colonel Corn! I'll take it! Wow, we! And then the pair cup will actually get activated. Uh, okay, Morning Glory is like average, and then obviously Little Mushroom is bad, but that's actually a really good pair cup here if he doesn't have something to increase the health of that. Uh, he does. Still, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Not bad. Yeah, Cur uh, the Colonel Corn made up for how bad everything else is here, I suppose. Uh, See, so he's gonna hit us for four here. He's gonna actually break right through. But the Espresso Fiesta should win here. It should win. It breaks all the way through. Block. 
Man, rolling a two there would have been nice. There's a squash. So we have um, Undying Pharaoh. Harsh! Okay, so it's... Wow. There's a couple different ways we can do this. I kind of like squashing the one the last lane just in case. Um, I think we're actually going to squash this and put the Briar Rose here. Just so it kills that Undying Pharaoh as soon as possible. <laughs> undying Pharaoh getting it done. We could have squashed the Undying Pharaoh. In which case, uh, this is safer. This is definitely safer. Yes. Okay, we're good. So Colonel Corn is kind of, we already used heal. And so all he has left is, is Rock Wall and Super. And Super does not help him here. So got him. That one guy actually came pretty close. Actually came pretty close, you guys. Espresso the Puff Shroom. <laughs> no, I will not do it. All right, I'd like to get, this is a control deck. So we usually try to get eight games in. Uh, we should have time for, what, two more? Yeah, we'll have to definitely have time for two more. Uh, we're doing really well. We're doing really well. Who did we lose to again? We lost to... Someone just got ahead of us. What deck was it? I'm really seeing that strong of opponents today. Who beat us? I don't remember. Smash doesn't have Rockwall? Sorry, he has Frenzy. He used Frenzy already, so he has... Galvanize, heal, and super. And frenzy, right? The puff shroom did the most damage there. <laughs> Galvanize and, and super, yeah. Obviously, neither of those are going to take out a 6 6. Double cornucopia! Definitely not two kooks. Do we keep one in case it's a, a late game deck? Why not? We have some, a, a pretty decent early game control. We have a 1 and a 3. That usually is enough. Obviously you don't play that. There you wait till he makes a play. Then use it to remove something. Wanna do Zmac versus Wall Knight? Bring it on. <laughs> FDA Cafe, sure. We'll, we'll we'll do it, no problem. Set it up. Wants the see you. You have nothing to lose in that match because if you win, it's like oh, I beat Wall Knight. If you lose, it's like well, it was Zemek against Wall Knight, so of course they lost. No biggie, no biggity. What is he gonna do with this though? What what does that do there? What does it do? Seriously, the, the hammer is so good in different spots in this deck. What it's gonna it's gonna use cone zone. What is the point of that card? Use Nebula, great, wonderful. Where's my environment? Why did not just save that for next turn and play it in the Nebula? The world may never know. <laughs> Yay, it's a drone engineer. Give you a warlord so you can finish your. Oh, you only have three warlords. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought you were serious about that bonus track bucket head thing. <laughs> Why are you using super on the guy that dies anyway? Oh, I'm just. I, I. I just. Whatever. It's. 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 It's becoming to a point that it's just. I don't. I don't even know what to say. The, the fuck of the matter is. Here's a piece of trash garbage. Now what? Gadget scientist. Woo! Woo! Briar Rose. This is a Briar Rose. Can't really up there anymore. We could hammer it. I think it's developing Briar Rose here is better. Here I'll stand. And here I'll stay, let the storm rage on. This man is dead anyway. I want to see the kook in action. Give that man. I don't think we use that here. Because we are probably kooking next turn. 
If he plate makes a Yay. More More gadget sciences for two damage. Woohoo! Whoop de doo. I almost would rather just heal here. The man has nothing though. He has one card left, so don't want we'll be able to super whatever the big card he plays. No need for Briar Rose preservation. Yeah, he has two nebulas on the field and no cards. Give that man a better deck. OTK gadget deck. Woo! Sure worked. We have 12 health. If you can't leave Geyser, we have 16. Oh no, say it isn't so. Now what? He has 10. I think we're gonna hammer this. Die. Uh, I believe we do this, yeah. Let's start the damage rolling. Chopper there, okay. It's a lot of damage, actually. Wait, if he top decks Gadget Scientist, he wins. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't top deck Gadget Scientist. Please. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Uh, wait, do we have a way of winning? Should I plant fooding first? Okay, if we roll a one. Uh, roll a one! If we roll a one, we win. Roll a two. Oh, I think this is better. We <laughs> could have won there. This healing is not going to do 16 damage to us here. You know, if he has any damage, he's going to have to block the magnifying grass, in which we can just pull another magnifying grass combo fresh next turn, and you're dead. This man is dead. Right in his head. Sorry, sir. Your name is Fred. Let's go. Mm. Go. All right, we are six and one. One, one more game. Well, this deck's doing pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Weak opponents though today. Are all of you getting out of school now? The school is real. Getting schooled. You guys are just all getting schooled. Got it. Fry killed someone. Rip. This deck's a lot of fun. It's it's not top tier, but it's plenty. It's it's effective. It's effective and very fun. A decent control deck for Chomstill of all heroes, an unlikely hero. Does your Immortitia Zoo deck still work? I don't even remember what was in that deck. That was a long time ago. That was like a couple months ago. Miracle Z mech. <laughs> What's going on, game winner? Oh, why is Field Good Man the pee pad? I don't know. I don't really know the background story of that one. Uh, do we keep second Briar Rose here? We need a little early game control. Okay. Ah, Hola Flora. Great pickup, actually, because I could just use some cards. Uh, Agro Z Max Sports Deck. I've really considered putting Tennis Champ in the ZMX Sports. It actually is... It's not as good in the early game, but it's better than the other ones in the late game. It's just because it's just raw damage. It's better than just Gladiator or whatever. Briar Rose! Uh, this will give us the answer to... Um, hopefully it doesn't have Vortex. This will give us the answer to... What's it called next turn? Um, to Mascot, which is... Main pro. We have, we do have an answer anyway. We have hammer, but this will be a better answer. Second prior rose. Take it. Pass. Brian rose. Brian. Can't rose you up anymore. <laughs> I think the hammer is. Maybe the hammer is just the player. 
Does he have an environment, perhaps? Oh, let's just do it like this. Land curve. Yeah, ten I haven't seen Tennis Champion in a while, too. It would be good just to add a little extra damage to Z-Mac Sports. Uh, get. Okay. I will probably end up hammering that. And. Super. Okay. Oh. Great play. Turns out hammer would have been better. We still get our sunflower back at least. <laughs> that was a great play. This man knows what he's doing. Who knows the Z-Mac? So we got hammer. If you get super, I'll, I'll use it on, on the arm wrestler, why not? Splash! Should I use this already? Uh, especially with defensive end on the horizon. I think we do use this already. Let's heal a little bit. Do a little heal! Get down tonight! This Pryor Rose is so annoying. It is so annoying. That's a good thing. Hammer, bong joy, uh, applesauce. Or hammer. Oh, we'll see. Okay. That does two damage. I have a problem. Hammer. I think we go with the environment. Should I go with the bong joy? <laughs> nope. We'll save the bong joys. They're more useful as removal. Yeah, as a plumber. Okay. That's fine. For making so much sun. So much sun. The sun is real. Die, Briar Rose. So we have two more left in this deck. Uh, just need our magnifying grasses now. Do a little dance. Make a little. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Third Briar Rose. Third Briar Rose gonna be so frustrating for this guy <laughs> rest in peace bro uh, let's let's start getting this damage off especially when we have these plant foods here look at this go <laughs> briar rose briar rose e okay what is that supposed to do wait that was the wrong one, because that's anyway going to have two sunflowers in it. You should have put that in too. Now I get an extra sunflower. Thank you! Thank you very much. I think we're going to win without our magnifying grass here. Oh, I can always tactical kook also. Where's our espresso fiesta when you need it? <laughs> it's just going to be a... What is that? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! This man's cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. Cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. Uh... Actually, if we if we uh, plant food, if we plant food lane four, uh, it, it preserves the briar rose. I think just going phase here is better. Uh, chances are this one rolls two and two in a, on average. So there you go. <laughs> plant food. That's a four three strike through. Hit him one and <laughs> so close. All right, so we have a couple strike throughs on the field and a couple bong choice in hand, and uh, our opponent has three health on an empty block meter. I think we're doing pretty well here. I think we're gonna end up seven and one. Plus we have, uh, where's my espressos? <laughs> Where is, I just need one more plant food here. Uh, definitely have to tactical kook, come on guys. Now what? What is he looking for? He's looking for an answer. He doesn't. Wait. Chickening. Anyway. Cuckoo. <laughs> Go, Bong Choi. Why not? Chickening still doesn't help because the one in lane one is a 4 3, so he would need. 
Now, I mean, plumber. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't help. <laughs> well played. Double lethal, actually. Ah, all right. This deck, this deck performed like a top tier deck. I mean, we dominated everyone except for this one that we lost. So, well, I'll take it. Seven and one. Control decks. Tactical cuke. Not kook. <laughs> you guys are so annoying. Who cares how it's pronounced? I just said that in the intro as a joke. So, guys, that was the tap tactical kook, cuke, cook, crook. However it's pronounced, that was the deck. It actually ended up being pretty pretty good there. I guess Bri Rose MVP in terms of the controlling side. Obviously, the magnifying grass was the MVP in terms of the damage side. Did have a couple cornucopias there. That was good. Hope you enjoyed. Fun deck. MTK Cuke deck. See you later. Fry, can you cook? <laughs> yes, I can cook. Shut up. I can't really cook. I can cook um, eggs. I'm very good at cooking eggs. I can make some mean eggs. So if you ever are a guest in my house, I will make you breakfast. Yummy eggs.